Hey guys, what's up? Drubbing Babies here, and welcome to another episode of Hungry Games. Today I'm going to be doing a solo recording, the first ever recording with my blue snowball. So, hopefully this turns out pretty nicely. And we're about to get started. Hopefully Eyes of Horus doesn't lag the whole time. My connection seems fine, so we should be good. Or, you know. Okay. That start was a bit bad. Just got a pretty nasty lag spike. Hopefully we can recover, though. So, I have a kind of a chest route, but not really. So, we'll see where it brings us. There is one chest that I always do like getting. Which it looks like I'm gonna get pretty easily. Which is always good. I'm just trying to take all the weapons away from people early so no one can sneak up behind me and kill me viably. It looks like the tributes are flying left and right, but I like going to the very top of this building because there is a double tier 2 chest that's usually like, I guess the word is un... Just not really undiscovered because people will get it eventually, but like it's not priority for some people. I don't know why. I guess because it's kind of like, either it's a boomer or it's a bust, and we got a decent chest this time around. Oh yeah, and as you can see I'm using a texture pack, which I should have mentioned earlier. Oh yeah, iron titties, that's what I like. So, put these in our inventory. That here, that there. And the texture pack I'm using is a fo like a realistic one. It's supposed to like, oh, it's supposed to emulate shaders. And I think, it, I mean, it does the best job that it can do without being like a full-on shaders mod, honestly. And this is my first recording with my blue snowball, so I'm not sure how. Everything's gonna turn out. Hopefully, it turns out just fine though. And now, what I like doing. Let's see what this guy's doing. Okay. Now we're gonna chase this guy and hopefully kill him. Oh. Got him. Nice, and he had a diamond for us. So the first thing I want to do is go back to spawn and craft that diamond sword. First I'm going to eat and check around me. So I'm not super good at PvP or anything though, but I think I can do enough to win if I have to. Let's see if I have any sticks. Okay, I do. Because that would have been pretty shitty coming here and not having any uh sticks. Wait, is this where the crafting tables are? I haven't played on this map in a while. Did he have a helmet? Or no? I guess not. Oh no, he did, he did. It's right here. So we're pretty stacked. And I'm actually gonna try to find a place to kinda hide. So I can organize my inventory really quick, because I have all the armor I could ever want. Honestly. So, hopefully no one kills us while I'm doing this. Cause that would be horrible. Okay, we don't need that, we want that, we want that. Don't need that. Yeah. Yeah, everything's iron. So we're good. I'll keep my flint and steel out so I don't scare anybody away. It looks like there's two people over there chasing each other. Hopefully they're not a team. And even if they are, for me to be this stack this early in the game, I think I can kill them both. So we're gonna go into the encounter, falls to the wall, style, and yeah, it looks like they are fighting, so I'm gonna be able to run some cleanup, hopefully get both kills, and hi, you're dead. Okay. Intense. Oh, when did the flint and steel burn me? What do you got for me, buddy? Am I gonna die to him? Oh no, I got him. Phew. 
and it doesn't look like anybody's near us right now. And there's four people left. I'm a bit nervous right now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm shaking a bit. So I'm gonna climb up this ladder and take this time to recover some health. See if they had any japples, you know, golden apples. Okay. Let's see. It doesn't look like I got his bow, which isn't the biggest deal in the world. But I do want to see if I can find that. If I can go down this ladder without having a stroke. So I'm not sure how anybody else is doing right now. Wait, what did I just take damage from? I guess I fell prematurely or something. So, not exactly the best way to be doing what I'm doing right now. Okay, so now we have our bow and our diamond sword and full iron. We're looking pretty good right now, actually. I don't think I've ever been this stacked in a solo game, so it's pretty cool. And there's a guy in the distance right over there. He doesn't look too well off. So hopefully we'll be able to kill him. And I'm making sure I'm fully regens. And he sees me now. So we're probably going to get into a fight. I'm just going to kill him. So now we're in deathmatch. I know I'm being a bit careless. But I can be. I have a diamond sword and full iron armor. And I'm actually running at 60 FPS while co recording, I think, right now. Which is pretty good. Yeah, because I have it set originally to 30, so Optifine really helps your FPS. You guys should definitely download it. I am running 1.4 right now. And I'm actually going to go back to Cornucopia and see if I can't find anybody. Because I have a feeling they're going to team on me when they see me. So if I can just kind of get these things out of the way now, that would be best because I actually did take on a team the other day and I pretty much beat them. Like, I think I killed one of them and then the other one came up behind me and I almost killed him too. And I don't see anybody at Cornucopia, surprisingly. Okay, so there's him. And where's the other guy? Okay, he's dead. And I don't know what he's doing. Well, that was my first ever solo win, guys. So leave a like and subscribe for more. Comment what you thought about this solo win on MCSG. Like I said, that chest is very boomer bust. So yeah. I'll see you guys.